Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Fantasy Foot is here today in FIFA 22, the brand new promo that we think we know a little bit about, but we're waiting for the official reports today, of course, with how these cards are going to upgrade, what cards are going to be in packs. It sounds cool, but is it as cool as the promo that we are exiting from with Foot Birthday as a lot of the cards in packs, specifically the promo team, of a birthday was really, really insane. So are we going to be taking a step up today in terms of content or maybe a step back? We'll talk about that and how that's going to impact the market today, as well as the big SBC that was dropped yesterday, player of the month, 94 rated Kylian Mbappe, which a lot of people are doing because the fodder, especially on the high tier is going up because this SBC is coming in at a price that is not too expensive. And a lot of people are trying to craft this SBC at the moment. So we're going to take a look at all the leaks for today, the squad of players that we're supposed to get again, some more leaked objectives and um, player SBCs as well to talk about. And then just talk about the market. There's also going to be some very interesting road to the final movements today, in my opinion, on the market, because we have the Europa League and the Champions League draw. Uh, so teams will be figuring out who they're going to be facing in the next uh, few games of those respective tournaments. And that's going to impact prices on the market today for these live cards based on how easy or hard their draw might be. So we'll look at that, of course, in today's video as well. So if you're excited for Fantasy Foot and a brand new promo, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Now we talked about this yesterday, but just to run you up to speed once again, this is the leaked team of players that we are expected to get. Nothing has changed in terms of leaks. This is what we're expecting to see today as the promo team in packs. Now there are a cool I, there are a few cool items in here, right? The St. Maxman is going to be the most popular card from today, for sure. Rashford's going to be up there. Nani is really cool. Inaki, Williams, Kamavinga, Pedro, Klosterman. There's some decent and some pretty solid items in here. Now, the biggest potential that all these cards have, and a lot of the hype around these cards, is their potential to get upgrades. And we've talked about that as well. But just again, to show you how these cards will potentially upgrade, of course, we'll figure out the actual all the details on how this is going to work out after the release today. But the leaks are a plus three is possible. Play three games, win one game, attackers, midfielders, score a goal or assist. And of course, defense, goalkeeper, keep one clean sheet. So that's how these cards are going to potentially upgrade. And even as early as today on Friday, some of these guys have games. And especially throughout this weekend, we've got multiple of these players that are going to be in the promo team that will have an opportunity to maybe get a plus one or a plus two right off of the bat if they score, assist, and or win. Again, that's one of the uh, upgrade potentials. And if you remember the what if promo that we had last year, we've been kind of comparing and contrasting what this promo looks like with that promo from last year. Seems very similar. And last year we had what if players getting upgraded like right away. So we'll talk more about that. I think EA should tell us when they're going to upgrade these cards. I doubt that it would be immediately it's probably going to take a few days, and I would almost imagine they would do it like headliners or, um, you know, like ones to watch cards, upgrade them on Wednesdays when the new team of the week is released. I think that's how they would do these upgrades, but we'll figure out more along those lines today. So with these cards, like you see this team and you're like, yeah, this is pretty hype. This is, this is dope. There's some really neat cards in here, but what really carries a promo, and we know this, what really carries a promo are the SBCs and the objectives, but specifically the player SBCs, right? The last week and a half, two weeks or so of full birthday was very hit or miss. We had Ramos, we had Mkhitaryan, we had Timber, we had Quaresma, some decent full birthday SBCs, but they were not up to par from foot birthday SBCs of past. Now, this is a couple leaked SBCs for this promo that look pretty good. And I don't know if this one is today. I'm kind of hoping that it is, but this one's just a feel good card, right? Christian Eriksen, a lot of you guys think I look like this dude, and he's one of my favorite players being a former Spurs man. What a story he has, of course. Evidently, Christian Eriksen is going to be getting a card via SBC during this promo. Again, it doesn't look that insane, but as long as they make this cheap, I mean, I'm doing this SBC regardless, but hopefully that's a cheap SBC. Again, potential to upgrade, five-star weak foot, four-star skills, really cool card, the potential for a release there. A couple other names that have been leaked, Kali Aguri. Uh, a right mid in the Bundesliga. That's a pretty good looking card stat wise. You could play him a lot of different places on the pitch. Hopefully that SBC is cheap as well. Potential to upgrade. And then here is the big one. 
Don't know if this is going to be in packs as an SBC or as a part of Team 2 because this is going to be a two-week promo just like What If was last year. But Gelson Martins, stats are official. 98 pace, 94 dribble, 89 shooting, and of course the five-star skills and hopefully a four-star weak foot upgrade. But this is going to be an SBC that a lot of people are going to be ready for, hoping for, and waiting to see Whenever this promo is going, whether it's an SBC or a guy in packs, people are just going to want to see this card because people still use his signature signings version that was out in like November on this game. This card is going to be cracked. Of course, the five-star skills, that's what everybody wants and looks for. And this guy is very overpowered in game. So that's a very, very hyped card uh, that we could be seeing at some point in the next couple weeks of this promo. So just be remembering that there's going to be a lot of hype. Another right mid, right? We just had the Sancho as a big time right mid card. We had a Quaresma this last week as an SBC. We've had a lot of right mid, right wing hype recently. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, another one added to the list there with Gelson Martins. And then I think our objective for today is supposed to be Simon. Uh, he says here that I expect him to be for team one and Lo Celso for team two. So these are the stats that are predicted for Simon. Hopefully it's a little bit better than that. I mean, the, the objectives that we've had for the past two weeks of full birthday have been solid. Tammy Abraham was really, really good. So I hope they continue with that and give us a nice Moses Simon card. Also, there was a Lo Celso that was leaked. Um, what's with EA in giving former Tottenham players promo cards after they leave Spurs? I'm a Spurs fan, so I noticed these things. But this card could be pretty good as well. If you actually look at La Celso, um, I think there's some people that are kind of hyped around this card because he has got a basically every single trait. He's got seven traits, outside foot, speed dribbler, long shot, flare, finesse shot trait. So this card with stats like this could be really, really good. But evidently, it's going to be in a, a team two, the objective in the second week of foot birthday. So those are kind of all the cards that we have leaked as of right now for this promo we don't exactly know which one's going to be today um sbc wise if they started off today on friday with a gelson martins sbc that would be a banging start to a promo like this brand new one that they're going to drop today uh that that'd be a that'd be an incredible start to a promo right you think back to the mkhitaryan was a nice sbc to start foot birthday you think back to, i always think back to zaha and flashback benzema those two sbcs dropped on fridays of their respective promos. Uh, flashback Benzimos like Black Friday, Zaha during Winter Wild Cards, and those SBCs like took the game by storm when they were released. Now, part of me thinks that they might not do that today because they just released an SBC that's taken the game and the market by storm right now with this Killian Mbappe. Uh, so we'll see what they do with the SBCs and we'll talk about the Mbappe SBC a little bit more in a second. But one thing that's also gonna be very interesting to watch today is of course, we, we, we talk about this with every new promo, the pack weight on the new cards, how supplied are they gonna be on the market, right? The foot birthday cards, in, um, let's see, do we have a 100,000 coin pack? We have 125K packs here and 9.9% .9 chance of packing a foot birthday from a 125K pack, right? So we'll have to see what the pack weight is like for these brand new cards if EA is trying to flood the market today with supply of them. I don't think there's a lot of people saving packs at this time for this new promo. I feel like most people are gonna open their packs for foot birthday because most people would agree that the cards are in packs right now with foot birthday team two are a little bit better than the majority of the cards that you see in this upcoming promo. So that's just kind of something to think about. That'll impact the market today, of course, as well. So speaking of the market, we have to talk about what is going on with SBC fodder right now because that is going to really, you know, the, the fodder market is going to be on a lot of people's minds today because of the Mbappe SBC. And initially, the price of Mbappe was not that expensive, right? 2.1 million coins, I believe, on both consoles or all platforms to get this Mbappe SBC done. It is craftable. It's out for 30 days. And even if you start off with like a million coins, you're probably going to be able to get this done over the next month, which technically, you know, Mbappe is probably going to get a team of the season, right? But how expensive is that card going to be? So, I, I really think that this SBC is decent value. Again, he is basically priced at the point that the 93 inform was about two weeks ago, and he has a plus three physical boost from that inform, which was a very unexpected physical boost. Plus two passing is nice, of course, 99 pace, and then plus one shooting and plus one everywhere else. So a lot of people, I know that there's a lot of thumbs down for this because, you know, I don't think that you could have expected this Mbappe to be 
you know, uh, a million coins for the SBC. But also some people are like, man, 2.3 million coins, I can't do that. But you know, over 30 days time, a lot of people are going out and doing this right now. As you see on the game, high rated SBC fodder is exploding. Take a look at Lewandowski, 87,000 coins for Robert Lewandowski is a 92 rated card. He was 68K yesterday, which was already up. He was 65K earlier, all the way up to 87K where he is right now. All the high rated fodder is up. Harry Kane, Ter Stegen, 90 rated cards. These guys are up over 10,000 coins a piece. Look at this, from 49,000 coins up to 62, 62,000 coins where he is now. So I think this fodder will get a little cheaper heading into the lightning rounds today. And if the content, if the cards and packs, if the SBCs are not that hype, you might just have a lot of people still going back to the market and getting involved with this Mbappe. You know, there's still a mid or prime player pick that is out, a prime icon pack that is still available for some people to open if they haven't crafted it already. So I would, I would really just watch this side of the market today. You might be able to trade with some of this. And there might be people selling these cards and some packs being opened from weekendly rewards claimed early before 6 p.m. today on Friday, where you would see some of these cards drop a little bit in value. So just keep an eye on, on this side of the market. Lower tier fodder, 84s, 85s, 83s, even 86s, they're really not up that much because, again, so much of the requirements for Mbappe are high-rated squads, right? You've got two 89-rated squads, two 88-rated squads, two 87s. Then you got a couple 86s and 85, two 85s and 84. So it's more of that higher tier market is being increase with all the demand and that's why those prices are going up but this is really like where a lot of the hype is right now on the game um apart from some of the swaps packs i know that if you guys did not see ea gifted the 24th token yesterday after the content drop we were like where in the world is the 24th token they gifted that out and gave it to people so all 24 tokens have been released Last shot at opening your 86 times seven, which I did today. Pack two foot birthdays. They weren't really the good ones in Diddy and Lamer. But last shot at either doing the player pick, um, the team one pack, if you're going to do that, claiming anything else from swaps, those last tokens are available. These SBCs are still here for six days, but those are the last tokens and uh, available. And those, a lot of the token SBCs and objectives and stuff are expiring as well today as foot birthday is ending so make sure you keep a watch on that if that impacts you but again like i said a lot of today really just depends on the sbc content it depends on the pack content of course we haven't seen preview packs in a long time and if ea were to release preview packs today that would put this market into advantage i really feel like it's a little bit early for that i really do feel like it's a little bit early for preview packs um and you know we're going to talk about the market in terms of the meta and the foot birthday cards as well, because I know a lot of you guys really want to buy these foot birthday items for your team. And we've seen what happened to cards last week from team one of foot birthday. We have cards like Martin Odegaard, who was literally 500. He was almost 600 K during the week yet last week. And now he is down to 390,000 coins. As more SBCs have been dropped, as more foot birthday players that have been really great have dropped as well. Now, here's what I'll say about this. I think that especially for the, the cards that are in foot birthday team two, and I want to talk about this for a second. I think the market is losing coins right now at the moment because of the icon upgrades that are out, especially as we head into this week. The prime icon upgrade, if I can go back to SBCs here for a second, the prime icon upgrade is going to be leaving us pretty soon. The mid or prime player pick has five days remaining. The prime icon upgrade has two days remaining. So I don't know if they're going to re-up this as it was non-repeatable um, or what they're going to do next for uh, icon upgrade SBCs. But I would imagine that they would take the next step, right? Maybe a prime icon player pick could be somewhere near in our future. I don't think they would release moments icon upgrades yet. I feel like that we're still a little bit away from that. But we also might be getting near the time of icon moments player SBCs um, here in the next two, maybe the next week as well. So I still think there's a potential for some really good content to come out in the next couple of days. Again, as we mentioned, like the Gelson Martins SBC, that's going to be a market mover in its own right because so many people are going to want to go after this with the Mbappe being a central point of interest for so many people on the game right now as well. You know, it seems like it's these cards or SBCs. And I feel like a lot of coins are just being drained off of the market right now because of that. And since we're getting closer to that team of the season timeframe, it's March. 
it's arguably one of the more quieter times on FIFA for the whole years. Uh, when you think about the FIFA schedule and the cycle and stuff like that. So um, I'm just kind of thinking about why the market has gone down a lot. Like if you take a look at not just these birthdays, but if you take a look at some future stars cards that have dropped off in value in the past couple of weeks, uh, you know, Chameni was 1.1 million coins a week and a half ago. You've got Smith Rowe, who's under 500,000 coins. Some other future stars that have just continued to drop off. Graham and Birch, Lacroix. Now, some of them have gotten rare and they've bounced back up a little bit. And, and this is where if you're trying to make coins today, if you're trying to literally just trade on the market and make coins today on this game, what I really want you to watch out for is the out-of-packs market on cards that have maybe even rebounded well um, from like the past two or three days when we have content and you see these prices drop the cards that rebound very well Like one example for me uh, Would be this Vlahovic take a look at this guy yesterday with rewards He went all the way down to 282. He was like 270 almost boom right back up to 300k went down into the 200s again and bang, he's now almost up to 320,000 coins. If you find a card like this, some out of pack specials, team of the year, honorable mentions, headliners, winter wild cards, these guys move around a ton in price on a daily basis. Cards like Martial, still usable in this game. Lucas Mora, still very usable in this game. Delane, right? The, the cards that you have to be careful about today, just like any other promo Friday, Delane has been like one of the best French left backs in the game. Besides Teo Hernandez, well, we're getting another one today, Rusillian with some Bundesliga links, links to Lacroix. Not saying to go buy Lacroix because Rusillian's probably going to be dirt cheap. And we're also getting a Klosterman, which would be a substitute item for a guy like Lacroix. But what I would really watch out for today is just out-of-pack special cards on the market. If there is panic selling today, um, because, of, again, the leaks, because of whatever SBC content that we have leaked, I would watch out for those types of cards and a potential bounce back. That's going to be the safest place on the market to look today. And I would also watch the foot birthdays. Now, are these guys going to really rise out of packs? I think that some of these cards can. I think some of them can. I don't think all of them will. Because again, you saw what happened with foot birthday from team one. These guys literally did not go up out of packs. Almost every single card from this team, apart from the ones that have gone up because of th their SBC fodder, uh, has gone down. Cruz is down like 150k. Allen is somehow miraculously about the same price with some hype Brazilian links, probably helping him out a little bit. Ronaldo is down a couple hundred k. Grealish was 120. He's now 90,000 coins. Suarez is one of the biggest dropper droppers in price. He was a million coins when he left packs. Now he's 760k. Right. I don't think that's going to happen exactly. I don't think Foot Birthday Team Two is going to have as big a drop offs as Team One did unless there's insane content from EA. So if there's panic selling on these cards today, guys like Danny Alves, that continually fluctuate up and down. Paqueta was 770, now he's 811. You might see some of these prices dip a little bit lower today on Friday, maybe a little bit, around the content drop as people get prepared for a brand new promo. And if the content is hype after 6 p.m., you might see some more drops. But then after that, again, if people aren't impressed with how the content is released today on this game, then I think you would see some people go back out and buy these full birthday cards that they want to use in weekend league, that they want to buy for their teams and stuff like that. So I'm not expecting a crazy market rise. All I'm saying is today, I think there's going to be opportunities to trade and fluctuation trade with some of the special cards as they move around up and down on the market on this game icon moments as well since it's going to be packs it's going to be supply and stuff like that you're going to see those cards moving on the market as well now one other spot of the market you're going to see movement on is road to the finals and i want to talk about this just really fast to end the video is some of these guys are getting upgrades today two things with road to the finals a lot of action with these today upgrades number one right we got these cards that have won in the past week, again, with the Europa League and the Conference League games that were yesterday as well. There are some plus one and some plus two upgrades coming to live Road to the Final items today, right? Last week, they did them early. They did the upgrades for these cards like an hour or two before content. If you remember that Gareth Bale got his plus two like very, very early. So guys like Urente, it's getting upgraded today. Um, guys like Bowen, Denayer is getting a plus one. Ansu Fati, Ilicic is getting a plus one. Uh, let's see, who else? I think I'm missing a couple. Kai Havertz, right? Kai Havertz has dropped down in price a bunch and he's getting an upgrade today. This could impact prices a little bit. The upgrades on these cards could impact prices. 
But what also is going to impact prices are the draws. Again, we have the Europa League, I think Conference League and Champions League draws all today. And that's going to impact prices because when people on FIFA see who these teams are going to be facing off against in the next round of these competitions, if it looks like an easy matchup. So for the Champions League, like whoever matches up with Benfica is going to be a easy matchup, right? So let's say Chelsea match up with um, or, or draw Benfica in the next round, then you would say, okay, Havertz is getting the upgrade today and they have an easier matchup, more potential for an upgrade. You would probably see his price go up. This happened the last time the Europa League had a draw with Ansu Fati. He went up like 70,000 coins right after the draw. Rare card was getting an upgrade anyway and got an easy draw. So just watch out for that. There's going to be some early market movements with those cards today on this game because of that. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of road to the final movements. There's going to be movements on cards impacts with the foot birthday team twos. There's going to be a lot of informs as we always see on Fridays. I mean, just if you have like a Cristiano Ronaldo uh, gold card, uh, sorry, an inform card in your team, this is something that is, um, it's become a no brainer on Fridays. But if you're watching this video right now and you still maybe have like this guy, the inform in your team, I would sell it really soon because this guy is going to get packed today from team of the week packs that people are opening. It sounds crazy, but yes, all informs are going to drop in price today from the current team of the week because people get their weekend league rewards really, really fast and those cards drop in price. So just kind of a heads up there if you have that card, maybe to be careful with that one. So it's going to be another promo Friday, right? And we've gotten used to these promo Fridays coming again and again and again. And it's really just going to come down to is the content hype enough to make people change up their teams, go buy out new cards or do an SBC to really see the market wrap around these brand new cards and sell off on old ones? Or is the hype going to kind of stay with, all right, nothing new today came out that I'm really excited for. So I'm just going to go back to continue my Mbappe SBC or crafting SBCs in general or buying foot birthday cards. So those are kind of the places that I'm going to be very interested in watching on the market today. And of course, with whatever content drops, we'll be covering it live on Twitch. Link down below in the description if you do want to check it out live there. So if you enjoyed this video today, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.